Welcome to the Edge of NFT podcast with your hosts, Jeff Kelly, Ethan Janney, and Josh Krieger. We aim to bring you not only the top 1% of what's going on with NFTs today, but what will stand the test of time. We explore the nuts and bolts and the business side, but also the human element of how NFTs are changing the way we interact with the things that we love. This podcast is for the futurists and dreamers, the disruptors and creators, the fans and connectors, and the makers and doers that are pumped about this ecosystem and driving where it goes next. At Hedera, I'm doing uh, ecosystem marketing, so understanding uh, and marketing all of the various ecosystems and applications and participants within those ecosystems, fostering their growth, growing out communities. Cool. What's been popping since NFTLA? It's been a few months, which is like years in Web3, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so since NFTLA, uh, a lot's been going on on the application development side on Hedera. Um, as, as many may know, we've got HBAR Foundation, which is an adjacent organization to uh, Hedera that uh, does grants for different types of applications. We have a few verticals, so uh, DeFi, uh, Metaverse, Sustainability, Privacy Funds, a Female Founders Fund, um, a whole bunch of different uh, verticals that we're looking to foster growth for. And since then, um, you know, we've had a few accelerators come online for that, a few applications that have been uh, funded and a good amount of capital that's deployed uh, to grow out the ecosystems. And, um, and so it's been great seeing that growth. I think now, since then, we're starting to see some of those applications start to come online. And, uh, and it's really exciting to see. It's cool. Yeah, yeah, totally. And we'll, we'll delve in more. We're going to have a proper show soon. But yeah. maybe just give me a sense of the vibe and consensus, like the types of conversations you're having with folks, what you're excited about for the future. Uh, we got 17,000 people here. Yeah. It's really hot, 110 degrees. But um, the conversations are also really exciting. Right, yeah, yeah. And I know at first it was supposed to be 10,000 and that number jumped very quickly. We, uh, we ended up having to bring more staff to the event. We brought more swag, uh, more pamphlets and literature to try and help uh, explain what Hedera does and what it is. Um, I think it's, it's a bit different this year being in Austin than it was at uh, the last consensus conference in New York a couple years ago. That one seemed to be a lot more um, maybe financially focused, obviously being in New York and a little bit more corporate. Uh, this one being in Austin, it's brought a lot more of like a, a deep web three focus, it seems, sort of permissionless focused applications and, uh, and ecosystems that are, that are being built uh, in web three. And so the conversations, um, you know, it seems like a lot of things have matured since the last one. And uh, it seems to be a lot of innovation and, and um, a bit more maturity, I think, that's being brought to the space. That's cool. Yeah. Can you give us a sense of the types of applications people want to build on Hedera Hashgraph and like some of the scalability uh, benefits of, of using your platform, not to mention the eco side of things? Yeah, so, you know, as I mentioned, a big focus right now is DeFi applications on Hedera. We have that DeFi fund, which I think it's uh, earmarked for $200 million. Uh, That's not bad. It's not bad, yeah. So definitely hoping to use that to uh, bolster the DeFi ecosystem and foster its growth on Hedera. Um, you know, one of the big things that when we talk to DeFi applications on Hedera, that, that they're realizing the benefits of Hedera are uh, consensus timestamps for all of the transactions that's unique to, to Hashgraph consensus, which underlies our network. Um, being able to have uh, timestamps for all of those transactions is important to be able to validate some of that information. And um, at the same time, the scalability and throughput of the network, you know, tokens on the network can go to 10,000 transactions per second today. And with sharding later on, it's, it's essentially an unlimited amount of transactions that can be performed. The cost for those transactions are incredibly low, fractions of a penny to transfer tokens and use DeFi applications on the network. And the carbon footprint is very low as well, right? That's right. The views and opinions expressed on the Edge of NFT podcast reflect solely those views and opinions of the show creators and its guests. We are learning as we go just like you. Please make sure to do your own research. Our podcast is not financial advice. There are multiple strategies and not all strategies fit all people. You understand that you are using any and all information available on or through this podcast at your own risk.